On the 6th of February 2013, a group of Aboriginal people and their supporters attended Kevin Rudd's office in Morningside in Brisbane to complain about the speech by Prime Minister Julia Gillard that morning where she referred to rivers of grog going into Aboriginal communities. We do what we request, right? And we requested to get the communications through to Rudd. Well, I think right. he knows about it, doesn't no, he? No, well, I don't think so. Yes, he does. Well, he hasn't talked to me. He's my phone number. You want my phone number? What, what, what? All he has to do wait, wait, is wait. get... No, no, no. I'm going to make it very clear. All he has to do is make... Ring me up, get on the phone, and give us the due respect that we should have had in the first place. And if when we came to the door, if we don't, I'll stay here, and if you fellas have to do what you have to do, you've got to do what you have to do, yeah, mate. Well, so long as we're all clear about that. Yeah, I'm fine. Because you're here unlawfully, you realise that. No, I'm not here unlawfully, yes, mate. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, come under your law. Yeah, well, so long as we're all clear about that. Yeah, I'm fine. Because you're here unlawfully, you realise that. No, I'm not here unlawfully, yes, mate. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, come under your law. <laughs> Speaking. Good. Yeah, no, I'm here now. Yeah. No, you the RDO? No. Well, it's all the mob from um, Musgrave Park. It's that Warburton fella, you know, the all that mob. Well, I'm here. I don't know if I'm looking after it, but I'm here. Yeah, we're going to see what we can do. Probably need to send some police here if we could, because um, if they don't get out of here, it's all going to be uh, very messy. And um, so, I'm going to here. They're all just typical black fellas carrying on. Get up. Here you go. Okay, good. I'm Katrina. Laurie Sturge. Hey, Hello. Good. How are you? Back from Lock Two. Need to. No, it's all right. Um, anyone assaulted? Uh, staff were pushed and shoved as they pushed their way through that security door. How did they get through the door? I don't know. I was in here on the phone, and when I looked up, no idea. Someone must have opened the door to see that someone was okay, and they've just pushed their way through. So I didn't see who did it. It may have been one of my staff out the back who's quite upset. I've just locked the rest of them in the boardroom out the back to keep them away from out the front here. But I, I don't know how that door was open. You can't open from the outside. Do you know what their grievance is with Kev? Yeah, it's well, it's not necessarily with Kevin. They're a radical group from us. Great I know who they, they are. They don't yeah. speak on behalf of yeah everyone, but um, there's a constitutional recognition bill going through the Senate today. They don't agree with that, so they put out a notice that they would protest outside Swanee's office this morning, and they did, and they've moved here. But the notice was never about our office. So it's a recognition bill. You said we recognise the part of the Constitution. You got a printer? Can you print it? Now what I'm going to need for you to do at some point yeah. is give them a direction to move. Okay. But sure. this is private property. Yeah. I don't want yeah. you to here. You have yeah. to go. I'm asking yeah. you to go now. Yeah. And then you other and then you'll be asking the police to assist me. Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. But we'll give them five or ten minutes to do their thing here. Otherwise, they're going to get front page news everywhere. Yeah. And I don't know that we need that, do we? No. So, and I'll see if I can get them out peacefully, but I need to go and talk to the rest of your staff if I could, too. I'll take that back. Hey, just settle down. I'll be back in a minute, all right? I've got to sort out a few things and I'll come back and talk to you, all right? Everyone just hold fire. G'day, how are we going? Laurie Sturge, the local inspector here. Well, no, I think you've been confronted with a little bit out there, so can someone tell me what happened? I opened... Our door to let Les out. Who's Les? Les, Les is a big grey haired gentleman out the front right, there that's right. on our side. Right. Yeah. And they have the uh, canvas across the front doors. W why did Les want to go outside? Because he doesn't think he's just visiting. He's just visiting. So yeah. he was sleeping. He asked them to let him out and they said, Do you support sovereignty? And Les has nothing to do with it. Mm. So he was trying to get out and have the other door open. And yeah. as. He, they moved to let him out after taking photos of him. They moved to let him out. I still had the door open. Can you guys just stand here? Sorry. Past Les. Confronted him. And at this point, I knew what was going to happen. So I'm trying to shut the door. And he was, he pushed me. And I put my leg around him to try and get it. Now, what do you want to do about that? Him pushing you over? Anything? I don't know what I should do. What have you done? And what time, when did that happen? How long ago? 10, 15 maybe. Right, so it happened just before we got here. Yeah, yeah. Now, would they, I take it they were protesting out the front for a while? Yeah, 
privately, quietly project Five the minutes, outcomes. Max. The lady had come in and asked for a flag. I explained to her that I couldn't give her a flag over the counter. It had to be a written request for our flag register. When are you going to wake up to it? Laurie Sturgis. I'm not a citizen. I'm not an Australian. You can do whatever you want. But I don't come under your law. You, know, you can do whatever you want. I'm not an Australian citizen. I don't come yes, under any man. jurisdiction. Yeah. I never come from any other country. I never accepted citizenship to this country. I'm a Kuma man. I'm a free man. And I accept why I'm here. Okay, they do what they're supposed to do. They get Rudd on the phone. Right? And Rudd brings us up. And I can put my case to the Rudd as what should have been the natural process, what should have happened when we came in and made the inquiry, I'll, I'll go. That's not a problem. But Mr Rudd doesn't have to talk to you if he doesn't want to. Well, a, well if he doesn't want to talk to me, he doesn't have to. Right. And I'll stay here and I'll, I'll tell him that because he doesn't talk to me and he proclaims to be an advocate on behalf of um, your people who come to colonise this country and represent you people and I come here as a Kuma man representing my people as a, in a civilised way to come and put my case to him and he's ignorant enough to represent that you put your trust in him and to treat me my my um, I guess attempts to communicate with him with sustain that's up to him but I'm saying that that's what he's he should be doing. He's sitting in Parliament discussing the rights of myself and my, my, my people and my children and my grandchildren and all the other people in Queensland, our rights, and he's voting on it today and he hasn't got the time to communicate or to consult with us people. Yes. Yeah. 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 Are you planning to leave peacefully? Or? Well, I'm just a passive photographer, mate. Okay. I'm just here to ensure that justice gets done. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right, well. He's down there selling us out, mate. No, he's selling he's you fellas out. He's here today. He's, no, we, we were bloody obstructed by the these employees. We made a simple request, the same request that we made to um, Swan's office over at Nunda. Yeah. They, they were very helpful and got it done. And we left there was no money. But um, when people start insulting and spitting and throwing and slander at our, our people and looking down on them, it gets a bit obnoxious. It's going to be as annoying as a mob of white fellas sitting in Parliament making rules for black fellas in their own country. That's annoying. Listen up, people. Everyone, listen up. Hey guys, we just need to follow some protocol, so unfortunately I need to ask... Protocol? You're going to hide right. to talk... No, no. You're going to hide to talk about protocol. You don't even come from this country. You disrespect everything. You sit in Parliament. You make bloody laws for us people. Put it in writing. Put it in writing. You got the email address. I wouldn't listen to any of the lies. You and your boss are sitting down there, he's sitting in Parliament, there's not one black fella in that Parliament, and you're making rules that'll terrorise our kids, our families, on every camp and every reserve in this country, in Queensland. Right. Wayne, you've been asked to leave, and now direct you to leave. No, no, no. Right. Would you arrest this person? You're under arrest. What's your name? Come on, Jeff. I'm the health and 11, 27 hours. Which was that simple, you know? We could ask you fellas to get on the boats and leave. And this is what you've got done. You're a white guy. They're making a mistake. You're in the pool. Come on. You've got my name. Yeah? Brendan. Brendan, excellent. Who's got the card, Maury? That's right. You're right, brother. This chappy too, you look, he's left. 
breach of the peace is all we're going to look at at this time. If anyone gets hurt, well, then we, we every single offence that happens from there on in, okay? And take your time, do it right, and there's no rush, okay? There's nothing in this, okay? You right? You clear? Yep. 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 I'm just waiting on a van. Senior, you got a minute? I've just briefed the troops. Yeah. <coughs> Katrina is the office manager. I'm going to get her to give them a direction as soon as the vans get here. Then we will arrest them for breaching of the peace, yeah. a trespass. There's a heap of offences that are committed. There's also an investigation into a, uh, an assault where the lady, one of the staff, had got pushed over trying to keep the door closed by Wayne. So he's the one sitting down now in the front. He's the one from they're all from Musgrove Park. These people. We've got, we've got all their names. So is the van here? They're coming. Yeah. One from West End, one from uh, South Bank. There's two crews from South Bank, one from West End, so they'll be minutes away. They were on, on their way about five minutes. So could, you just, could you tell them not to dick around and get here at ASAP before the meeting gets there? Yeah, sure. Can you have here what I'm fine and Katrin? Um, all you have to do is confirm. Yeah. Um, they're here unlawfully. Uh, they're yeah. trespassing. Yeah. You don't want them here. Yes. Yeah. Um, this is not the way to go about a business. Just yeah. play it calm, but be yeah. fair. Right? Sure. sure. And that you direct them to leave now. Yeah. And if not, you're going to ask the police to assist you right. in, 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 in getting these people. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, just keep it short, sharp, simple, yeah. and firm. Okay. So we're going to ask you to leave. Trespassing. Yeah. I'll give you a second to leave. Otherwise, the police can help. Yep, done. Okay, you're right. Any questions? Yeah. <laughs> Good day. All right, we got any cage cars out there? We're inviting a recipe here for disaster. Tell them to go cage. They're supposed to be cage two anyway. No, cage three, man. I can send them cage two. Marilyn speaking, Laurie Sturgis speaking. Good, good. Is Dave Cascali around? Right, headquarters, is he? All right. Okay, I'll ring the chief's here, but not a problem. Okay, thanks. Bye. Laurie Sturgis speaking. Good, man. No, not really. What was that? Three eight four nine zero three. Todd, can you organise crews to target each one? Two people each one, and just get them out of the sight. Yeah, we will. Sure. Just hang on, I'm going to spree. But just, just no. I just want that so they know who's who. I want to allocate who's who. Yeah. Right. No. Okay. Right. No. Bye. Yeah, Laurie Sturgis here. Is the chief there? Well, I want to brief him about the situation at Kevin Rudd's office. Uh, I'll give you another one. 0478 540 029. But I think that other... Fa yeah, right. Um, we're about to launch now, by the way. I've got to get going before the media gets here. Right. Do I have good? Laurie Sturgis speaking. Mick, there you go. I've got six people here, three Aboriginals, three whites. They're from Musgrove Park. They're agitating. They forced their way inside Kevin Rudd's office. They won't leave. I've got a series of demands. They want to talk to Kevin Rudd. They want Kevin Rudd to do everything. Kevin Rudd's not going to detain them. I've got the office manager here. I'm about to give, get her to give them a direction to leave. I've got enough police, and then we're going to arrest them and put them in vans and get them out of here. Yes, I want to do it now before the media get here. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go now because everything's, I've got everything lined up and ready to go. Okay. Righto. Okay, see ya. Bye. No, no, he's in, Bris he's in, he's in um, Canberra. Yeah. See ya. Where is Kev? Canberra? Oh, wow. You're righto. Righto, Katrina, you're on. Yeah. Listen up, people. Everyone, listen up. Hey guys, we just need to follow some protocol. So oh, please. Yeah, hey, Wayne. Uh, no, no. You're going to hide to talk Sorry. about protocol. You don't even come from this right. country. Just you disrespect just everything. You sit in Parliament. You make bloody laws for us, people. Put it in writing. Please. Put it in writing. 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 Put it in writing
Put it in writing. You've got the email address. I, I wouldn't listen to any of the lies. You and your boss are sitting down there. He's right. sitting in Parliament. There's not one black fella in that Parliament. And you're making rules that will terrorise our kids, our families, on every camp and every reserve in this country, in Queensland. Right. Wayne, you've been asked to leave. I now direct you to leave. No, right up. Would you arrest this person, yeah, please? Come on, Wayne. I'm asking you now to leave. What is your name? Boats and leave. Right up. Ian, I'm asking you to leave. Please leave. Right up. Would you remove this person, please?